Welcome back. Today we're going to do a shrimp stir-fry with rice. Let's start with the rice. Uh, this is a no-measure method. What we're going to do is we're going to put in about a quarter to a half cup of raw rice per person. And we're going to put in enough water so that when we touch the top of the rice, it comes to the first knuckle in my finger. So we'll just cover that, remembering that when you cook rice, you always need to keep that covered, because rice cooks by steaming, not by boiling. So let's come over here, and we'll start on the stir-fry. The thing to remember about stir-frying is that you want to have all your ingredients ready before you start cooking. I'm going to show you something called a roll cut, carrots and other root vegetables is very good for this. So we just did a little roll there. You use it as a scoop. We'll put it there. The other thing you can do with the cleaver is you can prepare your spices. This is fresh garlic. You can just kind of smash it like that. Cut it up. Again, scoop. We'll put that right in there. We can do the same thing with our fresh ginger. Cut that and just slice it up like that. It's a very good use for the cleaver. So, the thing to remember about stir-frying, as I said, is to have everything ready, and we do. And what we want to do is we want to have our wok very hot. It's already been preheated. And so what we're going to do is you start off with a hot wok, cold oil, and this is basil oil, but you can use vegetable oil or you can use um, olive oil. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put in about a tablespoon of oil right in the wok and we're just going to swish that around and the wok is very hot. This is a cast iron wok and what you do is you put in the meat first so we're going to put in our shrimp and get that cooking then our spices and that sound is what you want when you're stir frying you want to maintain that sizzling sound. And now we'll put in broccoli. And the thing we want to be careful of, you can see why you want to be well prepared, because it literally takes just a few seconds for things to start cooking. And you don't want to overcook your vegetables. There we go. And we'll put in our carrots that we've sliced up. This is all on the highest heat. There we go. And we'll put in our mushrooms. There we go. And we'll put in some soy sauce for flavoring. Just probably put in probably a, a tablespoon of oil. And you hear that the sizzling never stops. And that's how you can tell when you're having a good stir fry. And having a cast iron wok really helps with that process. So it's taken me maybe about two minutes to do this. And that's just about ready. Everything is cooked. And the last thing I'm going to do is we're going to put in the scallions. Now you'll notice over here that the rice has begun to boil. And what we'll do is as soon as it begins to boil, we turn the rice to its lowest setting, remembering not to take the cover off. And in 20 minutes, that rice will be done. And so, the stir-fry is ready to serve. We had prepared the rice earlier, so we are ready to eat. Here's the rice that has already been cooked. It's nice and fluffy.
We'll put some of that rice right in the bowl. And we'll have our ingredients here. And there's our shrimp stir-fry. And now you try it, and we'll see you next time.